The new Doom 4 beta is a clear example of why the modern AAA shooter needs a huge rework. It's a mishmash of elements that exist in other shooters on the market, and some weird design choices end up making it a strange game that doesn't please the modern shooter market, nor does it please the arena shooter crowd that the franchise was built on. Probably the most glaring problem about the game is how slow the game is. Game speed is a bit more complicated than how fast your character moves, but it's more like how many decisions and reactions you have to make over time. Movement speed can play a lot in increasing this number. In Quake 3, you're really agile, so you can find people really quickly. When you're fighting someone, fighting is not only aiming correctly and accurately, but also about dodging your opponent's shots and even using your environment to gain the upper hand. Doom Force fights are really quick and static. This is partially because it's impossible to bail out of a fight. Once someone's shooting at you, you're either dead, or you're lucky if you can turn around and dish the damage back. In older games, you'd be able to bunny hop or rocket jump your way to at least trick your opponent and escape the fight. In more modern games like Battlefield, you have a sprint function that prevents you from shooting, but it at least allows you to hurry out of the fight. Doom 4 has none of that, and it ends up reducing the number of decisions the player has to make because you're forced to do one thing in a fight. The other reason why the fights are quick is because the weapons are too strong. Like, most weapons can defeat an opponent within, like, a second or two of constant attacking. This means if someone spots you, they're gonna weaken you a lot or just flat out kill you. In Quake 3, encounters felt more like a joust with players dashing all over the place, trying to land hits, trying to whittle down your opponent's health. Shoot Mania, a game I really love, is literally all about the challenge of landing individual hits on your opponents with the whole projectile dodging system. But in Doom 4, you may as well be dead before you can even react to someone shooting at you because of how quickly you die and how easily they can do it. As a side note, I found that grenades were really hard to avoid if you chucked them accurately and they dealt nearly 50 damage most times you used it, and possibly 100 if you land it really well. The super shotgun could also one-hit players really easily, especially if you sneak up on them, and because it's got a, such a wide spread, you can just use it any time really, and you're gonna hit someone. The ideal loadout used those two weapons, and either the rocket launcher or the vortex rifle, uh, depending on whoever's playstyle it was, Every other weapon just does not compare with these guns in terms of damage output. It's a shame too, because I really like the static rifle, which is supposed to deal more damage if you move between shots and you don't spam fire. I love that idea, but it's just so underpowered. A bit of the slow feeling could be solved if players could move faster. This would also fix another issue I have where the power-ups are in really like unintuitive places. If you play Quake 3, you'd normally find small power-ups along corridors and large power-ups more in the corners of rooms or kind of out of the way. Huge power-ups were either in really obscure or wide open locations that everyone could go to. And this meant that the better items had to break the natural flow of movement and encourage chaotic fights. Players on low health had to think very quickly in order to figure out how to get health without taking more damage than they need to. In Doom 4, you can't exactly use power-ups in the middle of fights, you have to kind of grab them between fights and hopefully you don't get ambushed on the way. Some power-ups are just kind of above bottomless pits and that makes getting them a bit awkward. A lot of power-ups also sit in the corners of rooms, but instead of being a break in your natural movement, it just kind of feels like you're spending a bit of time walking in one direction and then picking up the item and then just resuming what you were doing before without really any huge consequence. Mailing is also pretty obnoxious. When you're close to someone, it's really hard to follow them with a gun. I feel like players can pass through each other which means that when you run up to someone you can completely disorient them by just going straight through them. The trick is to use the melee attack and that kind of snaps onto enemies and makes you dash forward a little bit when you're in range. If someone's on low enough health you kind of do a killing animation but instead of being like a cool thing to do it just kind of ends up leaving you wide open for someone to kill you. Some of these killing animations can take like two seconds and as I said earlier that's enough time for an average person to drop you from 100 health to zero health. I've had so many times when a killing animation would get the attacker killed, both on me and the other person. It just happens all the time. Then there's really small things like the loadout system, and while it makes sense with the slower movement speed since going across the map is a lot of effort, the two weapon system that they got going on really restricts the decisions a player can make. Suddenly instead of going into a fight, figuring out which weapon to use, possibly backing off to a certain part of the map to get a really nice weapon, uh, it just kind of ends up being, you know, one or two choices and yeah, if your weapons suck then whoops. You can't swap weapons at all during a life and the only exception is the Gauss Cannon power-up, which is a really cool weapon and I love it, but again, it just... 
I don't know where it spawns. I just see people using it and I'm like, okay, sure, sweet, great, thanks. I also like the idea of the demon room, but sometimes it just kind of feels like a game of chance, whoever gets it first. The only notification that it appears is literally five seconds right before it spawns and then it tells you where it is. And that only really allows people nearby to pick it up. So sometimes there's just no contest because literally it's on the other side of the map and just someone spawned over there and it's like, oh sweet, great, thanks. There's also a quad damage power up, but it doesn't even make an announcement when someone picks it up. So you're just wandering around and then you see someone with the quad damage and then immediately you're dead because not only are you dying in two seconds, you're dying in half a second. You're dying four times quicker. In Quake 3, the really major items would be announced when someone picks it up. And because they spawn a certain number of minutes after they are picked up, that means that everyone on the map can assess the current time in their head and figure out when they need to attack that area again in order to grab the power up. And that kind of ends up being that power ups are more influential in how they draw players together rather than the actual effect of the power up. But in Doom 4, they're just gimmicks, they just show up. The demon room just ends up shifting the match depending on how many kills that person gets. Sometimes they die quickly depending on how much damage people can dish out, maybe how they're positioned. It really just depends on how open of an area the enemy is. And maybe different demon rooms when the game is released will vary this up. But at least right now, you, you're really good in corridors and not really good out in the open. My final big issue is the UI. Like, look at this, really. There's progress bars everywhere. I don't need a bar to see my ammo. I don't need a bar to see my health. I just need numbers. He's gonna kill me either way. My, I don't need a bar for that. Challenges appear on the right every single time you do some arbitrary statistic like walking distance or shotgun damage or something. There's blips coming up telling you where people have died even on the other team. There's text coming up on the screen that my health is full. There's text coming up that I've got full ammo. There's icons appearing every single time I kill someone. I don't even know what any of them mean. What is this? What is this one? I don't even care. I just want to shoot dudes. I don't want to assess what uh, rewards I could be getting if I jumped a lot. Start the match. Look at all these buttons I could press. Finish a match. Look at all these cosmetics and hack modules that I got. I better plan which ones I use in the next Oh wait, they don't do anything. Customize my weapon. Look at all this paint. I could barely notice people's weapons as I'm walking past them. Don't you find it's really odd how quiet this game is as well? Like the menu music is noisy. It's industrial. It's pumping it's it's got this real 90s feel to it and then you just get into the game and it's just nothing it's, it feels so clean and static like you get into the game and then you just kind of hear gun noises from a very far distance and there's really only a few points on the map that actually make environmental noises your footsteps are nearly silent and you can only hear them if you're stepping in like blood puddles or something you know what's the noisiest thing in this game the announcer I recommend turning that voice off. Problem is, you end up playing like Doom for the Jaguar. It's just silent. Also, do you think it's a little weird how much stuff there is in this game? Like, for restricting my choices so much, there's so many other things that don't involve the game itself. There's so much meta game. There's taunts everywhere, but really no one taunts in this game. I've never seen a single person taunt outside of the end screen. You can also set your color, but everyone is the same color unless you're playing the regular deathmatch mode. I think every single mode is a team mode. As for the hack modules, the only thing that really does anything is the one where you spawn with armor, and the more times you die, the more armor you get when you spawn. But that's really the only thing that changes the game. And you know what? That should have been a natural thing because you know what happens? You get spawn camps a lot. There's no invulnerability when you spawn. If someone's right next to you, you are literally dead two seconds into a life. Also, you can crouch in this game. When you finish a game, look who's got the most points. Oh boy. I love the point system because people who die three times in a row and then get a kill get bonus experience, which means that someone could literally get killed so many times and then get a lot of like comeback kills and then they they've really contributed much less than their team but they've got more points you get points for getting fewer kills fewer objective points purely because you suck but you're at least getting something then there's really little things such as this fact where you can't shoot for a second when you climb have you noticed that the rocket launcher does ridiculously low damage if you miss ever so slightly like you have to hit them directly in order to deal some damage the demon can capture the objective in warpath 
That just means that whoever picks up the demon room just camps the area. Sure, there's no reloading in the game, but if you die in two seconds, is it really like a feature that there's no reloading? I can't even notice that. How come that when you're not spawned, you have to press tab to show the scoreboard, but not hold it? Otherwise, it does this weird seizure effect. Why is the melee button a weapon butt and not the fist like every other Doom game? Why are the melee and grenades not their own weapons? That prevents people from spamming them in the middle of a fight. Why do the Marines look nothing like they used to? Why does this game try to be more like Quake than Doom? And it's such a shame because I was genuinely looking forward to this game. The second last game that I ever pre-ordered was Wolfenstein The New Order, a game that offered an excellent single player and didn't even bother with a multiplayer component because it wouldn't have worked with the mechanics and weapons and movement style that the game was using. The last game I pre-ordered was Watch Dogs. I've been really skeptic about every new game release since because I didn't want to get burned again by a terrible AAA game. And we've gone through years of new releases that just corner cutted every opportunity to deliver a safe and catch-all game that hopefully returns the initial investment. And while Doom runs well at least, it just doesn't wow. It just tries to follow every single trend that shooters have been setting for the past decade and then just puts them together in hopes that the game will ride off the appeal of a modern shooter and the namesake nostalgia of arena shooters. It just ends up being a mess of bland, uninteresting, and unbalanced mechanics. And there's a chore of unlockables and cluttered interfaces. And it's just an experience that is unrecognizable to the franchise that they're attempting to reboot. And that's the biggest killer. The fact that this is not Doom. It has nothing. It is unrecognizable to a Doom fan. Now, I'm not upset because they announced DLC packs before the release of the game and they're trying to market off that. I'm not upset because of the nostalgia with the Doom name and the original games. Like, I love the original Doom. I even love Doom 3 and like all its interesting uses of lighting and stuff. I'm just upset because this is a comparison between the mechanics of this game and those that invented and perfected it 20 years ago. The framework is there, the ideas are there, but the mixture of design philosophies end up confusing everyone who plays this game. I may be judging the book by its multiplayer component, but I now have big doubts about how the rest of the game will be. My take home message, you'll probably have way more fun with Unreal Tournament. Jumping over ya, gonna shoot ya, what? what? Don't shoot rockets, no. <laughs> you don't get that. Hey buddy, you wanna fight? Yeah, take that! Oh, snap! Oh, this is gonna make turn around. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Ah, don't lightning me! Ah, snipe! Snipe! Wow!